Down here at Moorhead City, we're really fortunate to have some of the greatest sponsors in the business supporting us. Uh, we had an awesome venue last night for the Pro Series and open kickoff here at Jack's Waterfront Bar and Grill. It's prime location, we're right at the inlet. It's an excellent venue for guys to come and have a good time. And also the support from our sponsors for this event has been great. Front Runner Boats have got a really great uh, following all year long and that has not let up at all here in Moorhead City. They've got a lot of great boats here, a lot of great teams looking to, uh, to take home the big W. We're also lucky enough to have the Mercury support trailer here. Uh, main guy Joe is here taking care of any of the Mercury teams if anybody has any issues or needs to be fine-tuned or dialed in before the big day on Saturday. So once again, thanks for Mercury Marine for supporting this Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series. My name is Joe Martin. I'm competitive angling service and event manager. These events, we just take care of the anglers. So basically they call us, tell us where they're at, what their problem is, and we go ahead and go out to them diagnose it and fix them so that way they can get back on the water for the tournament. Not a lot of manufacturers are doing what we're doing and you know we've kind of stepped up and gotten out here so the guys spending all this money they don't lose it just because you know they had a minor breakdown. Last night we had an issue with the motor and went and changed out the FSM and then while we were there went ahead and changed his tensioner which seemed a little loose to me. So we changed that out and then changed his belt and he was able to be back in the water this morning. We have a, we have a great partnership with Meet Mayhem. Um, the way they put on tournaments, we're more than happy to come out here and support them. So what we, what we find is like in this tournament here, the Pro Series, we have about 80% of the field with Mercury's and every year we find due to you know, the quality of the motor, the support they get from us in the tournament, that it switches more and more every year. We get a bigger piece of the pie. Here at Mercury, we continue with our advancement of motors every year, coming out with new stuff to help anglers and to keep leading the industry. So we're here in Moorhead City, North Carolina for leg four of the Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series. We've got a lot of good local teams that are fishing the Pro Series. You got teams like uh, Brant McMullen, Team OIFC, always a really strong guy everywhere he goes, but especially up in this region. You got Dean Spatholt on the Fishmeister. Mercury Power Team main event, Chris Register and his team, they always seem to do really well here in this location. Tim Hudson with White Lightning, a guy's been fishing here for a long time. So we're really excited to see what some of these local guys bring to the scales when we go out fishing tomorrow. As always, Mother Nature throws us a curveball at the last minute. The weather has looked really good all week long. And uh, just last night, right before the captain's meeting, we, uh, we decided to make the call to move the Pro Series event on Saturday. Instead of Friday, there's a, a big low pressure storm right off the coast of Carolina. It's supposed to cause some real big ground swell on top of the wind chop. So uh, for the safety of our guys, we felt it was the best decision to move that to Saturday. And we'll have both the pro and the open event on Saturday. So Saturday will be a big day at the scales, that's for sure. Uh, my name is Brant McMullen. I'm with the Ocean Isle Fishing Center fishing team. Tim Hudson with uh, White Lightning Fishing Team. Crew and team consist of my family, my brother Barrett, my wife Amy, Barrett's wife Stephanie, all of our children, uh, my father. So we're a family fishing team. We hail out of Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. Consist of uh, Jason Dudley and Johnny Lewis. So this is the first time that the Meat Mayhem has visited the Carolinas. And Man, we're uh, just glad to have Jimmy and the Meat Mayhem down in uh, Moorhead City. Uh, we've traditionally been fishing uh, the southeast coast, mostly Florida. And um, you know, it's, it's nice to bring those guys up this way to experience our fishery, uh, the good and the bad. Um, you know, one of the big obstacles fishing out of the Carolinas, particularly North Carolina here near the Outer Banks, is our weather. And uh, this weekend is no exception. Mother Nature is doing her thing and, and uh, the fishermen have to consider the weather in making their decisions on how and where to fish. But uh, either way, it's challenging. 
it's part of the game. And I look forward to uh, everybody getting to fish here as well as competing against some of the very best fishermen there are in uh, the King Mackerel Tournament. Most everybody's going to check out and they're going to run over to the east side. you got uh, several spots close by, but this time of the year in the fall, most people are going to run up north um, between here and Ocracoke. The weather has definitely thrown a, a little bit of a curveball here uh, with the tropical system offshore. Yeah, we're planning all week, you know, to have a good uh, forecast, but it looked like overnight they changed it on us. So a lot of guys are going to, you know, have a rough ride tomorrow. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm expecting it to affect the fish. Uh, beyond that, the time of year, we're just uh, at the edge of our peak season. So, um, you know, the, the fish are in a transition period. And uh, honestly, uh, there was an event last weekend, and there weren't a lot of big fish. So that coupled with the weather leads me to wonder what's going to happen. Um, there's always one or two big fish, the needles in the haystack, if you will. Um, I anticipate it'll probably take a low 40 pound fish to win this event. Last week, I think it was a 42 that won it, but that's very unusual for this time of the year. But you, know, you could see a 60 come into the scales. It's, it's uh, that time of the year they start showing up, and you, uh, you never know. It's the day before the tournament, and front runner Team Four Reels using their time wisely, loading up on fresh live bait. About to go get some bait. Pro stop number four. Got some good baits, but trying to get some freshies just because we got an extra day. Spend some more time, quality baits, so we can get a quality bite and get a quality fish. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? We're here at uh, stop number four of the Meat Mayhem Pro Series out here in Moorhead, North Carolina. Um, had some rough seas today, so we're pushing the pro day over to Saturday, and we're gonna upgrade some of our baits, try to get some better stuff, better baits, better fish. Uh, just talking to some guys at the dock. Hopefully we uh, can upgrade from what they said and take home the win. We need some money. Have the lens not in your mouth until he talks with the camera. Yeah. Back in the jungle, North Carolina, rough weather, hopefully big kingfish, leg four, trying to find bait. Stay tuned. Pelican's diving. Hey, then go right. That's how it's done, baby. Jacksonville style. Ready? One and done! We got bait for tomorrow now, so get to go home, get the rods ready, go get a nice dinner, and uh, get a couple more bluefish tonight. Then we're go. going. We're ready for tomorrow. Ow. What's up, champ champs? Champ champ champs. Tune in tomorrow. Got the bait. So uh, this term is a little different, or this leg. Decided no shotgun start this uh, stop, so I think we're gonna be at the uh, boat inspection at 4:30 in the morning. Then uh, from there we can leave and make the run to the spot. I think the lines are at seven, so we're gonna be sitting on the spot, trying to find where the bait's marking up, and uh, be ready to put the lines out and go time. Get the big one. So we're here in Moorhead City, North Carolina, for leg four of the Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series. It's a nice morning. The wind has fell out, just like we were hoping it would. Um, we did combine the pro and open tournament to today, Saturday morning. We're also not going to have the shotgun start this morning, so guys are able to get their boat inspected, head to the fishing grounds, and lines will be in at 7 a.m. Um, guys are talking. They're pretty excited. I guess they had a really good job catching bait the last couple days. Um, you know, People don't say too much about the fishing, but I, I know there's fish here, and we're looking forward to a big day this afternoon at the scales. There's always obstacles in this game. One of the obstacles we're hearing this morning is a lot of guys were buying bait from an uh, out-of-town guy and uh, I guess he had some issues on the way up with the bait, so now there's teams struggling um, that have to go catch bait that were depending on him to bring some different types of bait. So, like I said, there's always an obstacle you have to deal with, but these guys will figure it out and make it happen. We're gonna go catch some bait this morning. 
and we'll be back. See you guys in a little bit. Jimmy, we're crazy. Well, let me rephrase. That's $25 a container right now. Let's figure how much we got just to fuel. Let me just rephrase that. Mike's crazy. Yeah. We're out there from 10 30 last night doing this in the rain. Would you guys buy all the Walmart and or what? I probably already at least would have bought more. I bet you. <laughs> they didn't have enough. But you know what, Jimmy? If we do find them, that new tent gonna be that big. It's already that big. Hey, you say you're so <laughs> oh, yeah. This segment is brought to you by Preferred Marine, South Florida's number one mercury dealer and service center. Mercury V8 Verado outports generate ample torque from class-leading 4.6-liter displacement. Supercharged power from the 350 and 400 L6 Verado outboards delivers instant throttle response. Phil with Time Serve. We're here in North Carolina, um, just coming off a win in uh, St. Augustine. We're at the dock right now getting checked out, about to head out. Um, fishing's been tough, but we're gonna go out there and grind. We got some good baits this week, so we're looking forward to it. What's up? There's boys. Uh, so Chris is uh, MIA, and uh, Craig is on the boat while Hooligan's coming over here. Chris is MIA too? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so somebody got into the liquor last night. <laughs> <laughs> After their successful emergency bait session, Team Clean Slate returns to the checkout to get the boat re-inspected and clear. We did, we got some bait. Time to get our fish now. Take two, it's time to go now. We're here. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> yeah. Back at it again. Hoping to get a big one today. We'll see. Been tough fishing for us all week, but. Last day of pre fishing, we uh, hooked in a real good one. Ended up getting shark right under the boat. It's probably one of the better ones we've seen this year. And hope, hopefully, uh, he's got a twin out there we can get. So, knock on wood. We are at a spot about 50 miles offshore from Moorhead, North Carolina, where they say big kingfish live. So, hopefully, they live here. So, look. What's up with everyone's bait situation? So the bait guy said all the bait died on the way up here and we never even ordered any, but we caught our own bluefish and um, pogies and uh, we have some awesome, awesome baits. So I don't know about them, but our bait situation is awesome. So hopefully it pays off for us. With a couple of minutes till lines in, most of the fleets arrive to the fishing grounds and are eagerly awaiting to get baits in the water. All right, guys, time to fish. Put them out. I'm tight, Aiden. What are you thinking? They, neither of them gave us a big blistering run like a mackerel should. So they're thinking maybe jacks. I'm not too sure. They ate some big baits, so never know with these big baits. I don't know. They didn't really run too hard. And they ate over the bait, but we'll see. Hopefully they're big lazy kingfish. This fish doesn't seem like the right species. Instead of wasting any more valuable time, Mike decides to break this one off and get another bait out. Are you gonna call? Yeah. All right, good, good. Decided to make the call? Yeah, pretty sure it was an amberjack, so. Or amberjack or shark, but I don't know, Harrison thinks it might be a kingfish. We'll treat it like one and hopefully it is. Hard to tell now. He rose up, ran on the surface for a little bit, came back towards the boat, and now he has this down and out. So, really hard to tell. Oh my 
jacks. Uh, kind of what we thought they were. I'm gonna try to move to the other side of this spot, try to get away from jacks, and uh, hope we can get a bait pass and we get a king bite. But, but right now you can see they're marking up real good on the screen. So maybe we can find something. Just bait. 